All right, we, we have your main event, guys. Let's, uh, let me go over the rules. The main event, clap it up. Thank you very much, sir. Great yeah. energy. Great energy, sir. That guy, that guy won't clap. That guy refuses. That's all right. <laughs> oh, I respected it. I was okay with it. So here's the deal. Main event's a little bit different, guys. Uh, main event, these guys are both ranked in, like, the top, top ten about, um, and they've been doing it a long time. Both these guys are fucking are really funny, so I think you guys are gonna love it. Oh, Here's the way it's gonna work: first round, they're gonna go tit for tat. Second round, they're gonna go 45 seconds straight through each. And then if they have to go to a third round, they're gonna go tit for tat one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. Clap your hands! Come on, yeah. let's get it going. Your first competitor, uh, he is originally from Detroit, Michigan. He's three and four in competition. Clap it up as loud as you can for Joel Walkowski. Come on. Yeah. Joel, happy to have you back, my friend. Good to be here. This room is so dead, it might be one of Eric's relatives. Ooh. <laughs> Throwing heat before he's even up here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the great state of Minnesota, he is 4-2 and two in competition. Clap it up for Eric Bergstrom. Come on! <laughs> How's it going? You are terrifying. <laughs> Joel, it was nice of you to let him out of his locker to have this battle with you. <laughs> ah, I'm super excited. This is going to be a great one. These yeah. guys are both beasts. This is going to be fucking great. All right, so Eric, uh, you've almost been dead, so I'm going to have you call out in the air. Oh, thank you, heads. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck. All right, we're going to do another one, guys. Just look at the one on the Shut the fuck up. I don't know where it went. Oh, you, like, you can't find a penny. <laughs> Says the Jew. <laughs> Heads. Heads it is. First or defer? I will go first. <laughs> Eric Bergstrom's going first. Joe Wolkowski's going second. It's the main event. First round. Clap your hands. Come on, motherfuckers. Let's roast. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people joke that Joel is retarded, but I take Joel being retarded very seriously. Joel told me that his mom used to teach special ed. She stopped when he moved away. <laughs> Thank you, Slender Man's Apprentice. Uh, <laughs> Eric, you have cancer, but you kind of look like a vampire who only drinks blood with HIV in it. <laughs> Joel, you short bus transformer. Uh, you might not know this, but Joel was engaged to be married. Uh, the girl called it off over the phone, and I, I think that's ridiculous that a dog knows how to use the phone. <laughs> Eric had cancer. He's one of those uh, tumor boys. Um, <laughs> tumor boys. <laughs> you lumpy motherfucker. As part of his cancer treatment, he had to go to the fertility clinic, jack off into a tray, and freeze it in case he ever wants kids. Or a popsicle. Uh, Joel, you Frankenstein twink. Uh, Joel, Joel's dad professionally teaches the banjo, and his mom used to teach special ed. Joel, you're just one bachelor party away from deliverance. Thank you, Donnie. Dark spots on his lungs. Um, <laughs> what do Eric's doctors and Comedy Central have in common? They were both wrong when they gave him a half hour. <laughs> Joel is six foot three. I guess whatever his mom put into her vodka worked. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's sister Siri just passed away. She's still a big part of his life, specifically his Ouija board. Uh, <laughs> she actually left him her cell phone, which is great. It's the only way he can say, hey Siri, and get a response. Uh, <laughs> 
One more time for Joel and Eric. Jesus. Eli, what do you think, buddy? That was great, man. Both great joke writers. That is close. Um, Eric, you're creepy as shit. You seem like the kind of guy who would go to a blood drive and donate someone else's blood. Uh, I want to say, fuck, dude. Like, see, Joel, a lot of people like think you're just dumb, and you are. Really fucking stupid, but you got this retard genius with these jokes, and I thought you etched it out. One vote for Joel Wachowski. Mr. Broussard, what do you think? Oh, man, Eric, uh, last time I saw you, uh, you were, uh, we just met, you were fresh off recovery, and uh, I think you looked a little better with the chemo, actually. <laughs> you look, ah. look kind of creepy oh, now. thank you. That being said, uh, jo your, your performance was amazing. Your jokes were really good. I thought just a couple, uh, Eric, your jokes were just a little bit more thinkers, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you that one. I'll give you that round. Eric gets a vote. Joel's got a vote. Split one of one. Big J, what do you think, buddy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Eric... Congratulations on your recovery. You look great. Joel, you should be wearing a whistle. <laughs> uh, I fucking love both these guys. That's, that is a really tough one to, uh, to go on there. But I, I, it was so even, I just like, I love Eric's delivery, so I'll give that one to Eric. Keep Two votes for Eric Bergstrom. Two to one. Comes down to Rich Voss. Well, I, I, I fucking love Eric. I'm telling you. And if, if it takes cancer to look that thin, fuck it. Uh, here's the thing I, I love his delivery and everything he had the best joke out of both of them the Comedy Central and the half an hour yeah. that was the best one out of everything so even though I love him I have to give him because of that one joke to this guy here we go <laughs> tying it up Just gotta go to the audience gotta go to the audience Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the first round. We have two more rounds, hopefully. Uh, this is going to be up to you guys. If you think that Eric Bergstrom won, clap your hands. If you think that Joel Wachowski won round one, clap your hands. Wachowski? Yeah, fuck your cancer, pussy. <laughs> uh, oh, I agree. <laughs> Screw cancer. Uh, Eric went first in the first round. Joel's going to go first in this round. It's 45 seconds straight through, 45 seconds straight through. Ladies and gentlemen, two rounds. Let's get it going. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. Let's roast. Eric is not only a comedian, he's also an illustrator, so he can't draw in two professions. So um, to honor him and his two careers and his battle with cancer, I did write a Dr. Seuss-inspired book about his battle with cancer entitled... Oh, the places you'll glow? <laughs> Eric Bergstrom humped a teen who felt a lump along his spleen. This would require medical care, but first he came in the young goth's hair. <laughs> Docs found lumps in his lungs filled with toxic ooze. It was a cancer, just like his dad's relationship with booze. <laughs> He was blasted with chemo, paid for by Kickstarter donations, but he still owes all the donors their promised illustrations. His hair fell out, his eyebrows too. He turned down locks of love because it came from a Jew. <laughs> so inspired by his fight, so invigorated by his plight, Comedy Central gave him a special, but he died on stage that night. I don't want to say it was a total four, Bore, but you, the only stage you belong on is lymphoma stage four. Uh -oh. He's going to the bag. You guys like prop comedy? Yeah. <laughs> You're holding a prop. Yeah, we're both doing prop comedy. I made a book too. <laughs> it's called Retard Zoo. <laughs> Once there was a zoo full of retards for every occasion. <laughs> Fat retards. <laughs> Skinny retards. and even one that was Asian. <laughs> 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 
One day, a kid walked past a cage and heard a sob and a moan. It was a retarded man crying on his cellular phone. <laughs> Please don't call off the wedding, he sniveled and wept. <laughs> but she was a lying bitch and finally made a decision she kept. <laughs> so the wedding planning was off, leaving the retard in rough shape. <laughs> Because who wants to fuck a guy that looks like Peyton Manning and acts like Gilbert Grape? <laughs> One more time for Eric and Joel. <laughs> the funniest part of all of that is every time he said retard, Joel's face would just go... <laughs> Mr. Broussard, what did you think of this one, buddy? Oh, I'll make this quick because I know Eric needs to go poison Gotham's water supply. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you guys were both brilliant. Uh, that was an amazing use of props. Uh, Joel, a couple of yours were just a, a little more clever, so I'll give it to you. Joel Mokaski gets one vote. Eli Sayers, what'd you think, buddy? Uh, that was awesome. I like that you both went weird. That's kind of cool. That was a smarter joke, because Eric always goes weird, so that's a, that was good. Uh, Eric, that was great. Uh, you fucking look like you cum spiders, but I thought... Ha -ha. <laughs> wink, wink. I, I thought you took that one. One vote for Eric, one vote for Joel. Close battles. Rich Voss, what do you think, buddy? It's like the Barnes & Noble roast. Uh, I, I fucking... His, when he came out with the book, but... That fucking, what he did with his book, I'm telling you, was fucking amazing. We're just impressed that there's two books on stage. I know. <laughs> this I'm is insane sorry. right now. It's incredible. He's never met Those one author, <laughs> let alone two authors. <laughs> Those are two more books that I've read in 10 years. Uh, I have to give it to uh, the guy that doesn't even look at the judges. Eric Bergstrom <laughs> gets two votes. <laughs> BJ, what do you think, buddy? I went to, I, I, they, they were both so fucking hilarious that I, I have to turn it over uh, to the audience because I want a round three just, for, you know, on, well, selfish, you want, on selfish reasons. Well, if you want a round three, then vote for fucking That's Eric, right. you dummy. Wait, wait, wait. Is that what would happen? Yes. <laughs> then yeah, Eric. Eric wins round two. It never ends. You're dumb. Uh, all right, so here's the deal, man. Uh, this is round three. This is what it all comes down to, okay? Let's split one round apiece. Joe went first last time. Eric, you're going to go first this time. This is it, guys. Round three. Tit for tat. Clap it up. Let's get it going. Here we go. Let's roast. Joel's mom is a historical reenactor. If only she could reenact Joel's hairline. <laughs> Before she passed, Eric's sister named her daughter Isis. So it's kind of a good thing she's dead. Um, Eric turned down custody of the kids because the only kid he wants is already his girlfriend. That one's actually accurate. Um, if you guys enjoyed Retard Zoo, um, you guys might also enjoy uh, Retard Farm. Uh, Lauren Bangs, another black guy. Uh, well, that's his ex fiance. Um, and uh, Frank and Twink. You call me Frankenstein, but you're the one who's only here because of doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's cancer brought him and his homeless mother closer together. She saw him so sick and so vulnerable and realized he has access to pills. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Joel, I, I don't know why uh, your ex fiance left you, um, but maybe she was just sick of calling sex nap time. <laughs> it's 
Smash that juice box. <laughs> <laughs> like a Capri Sun, baby boy. Uh, <laughs> Eric is from Minnesota, same as Prince. And seeing him on stage tonight, I think we can all agree, God took the wrong faggot. <laughs> I really spent so much time painting that. Painting retards! Yeah. I don't really have anything, but. <laughs> you always wear that track soon. For every. Can I see the back of it? Oh, yeah, I'm the faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show them that tracksuit? Show them the bag? <laughs> Eric has been in the New Yorker for his illustrations. His mom has been in the New York Times when she needs a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my last joke. <laughs> One more time for Joel and Eric. Come on, guys. Give them up. Oh. Give them some love. Joel, the reason... You look like you were going to say something else. No, I just haven't had any water. Today. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Big J. Maybe it's because I'm really stoned, but I really felt I got nervous twice that both of them at one point were having a stroke during that thing. <laughs> it was such a frazzled look they both had at one point. But uh, again, I, I love watching these two go at it. I think it was great. I think uh, on that round, I think uh, Joel uh, edged it out. But actually, b great, great work, both guys. Always. So fun to watch you two. What work. up, Jim? What do you think, Eli? Uh, this was great from both of y'all. Uh, Joel, you're a fucking weirdo. I didn't know that there were special ed frat boys. Um, <laughs> uh, shit, man. I uh, Joel flubbed that first one, but then came back real strong, and then and then Eric kind of kind of sunk a little bit. I think overall, slow. fuck, barely, Joel, just barely. Joel takes two votes. Come on, guys. Oh, man, this is tough. Joel, you look like you're playing a, a, a young David Koechner in a biopic, which is a reference <laughs> no one will get. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I, like, I like that we just kind of like slowly rolled across the finish line there. It was uh, <laughs> weird pacing right there. Like, we just, we're just giving up? Okay. Um, I think... Uh, I, I like the... Both wrote books. <laughs> 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 Nobody... Nobody has worked half as hard. Inside the lines, that was the best part. Um, I uh, I think you had two big pops on that last round, though. I was really impressed that you were able to come up with a joke, the the faggot joke. I'm gonna give it to you because you called Fr uh, Prince a faggot and kept the crowd on your side. So that's <laughs> your winner, Joel Walkowski, guys. Final thoughts from the living legend, Rich Voss. I, I was waiting for a slideshow. Uh, <laughs> Ah. It was it was great watching these two. I fucking love watching him, and I love watching him. Yes, he edged that one out at the end. They both fucked up a couple jokes, but they were both fucking great throughout the night, and you saved the night from the other fucking roaster. So thank you. You both are great. But I, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to the guy whose voices are telling him what to say in his head. Yeah. One, one of the most. <laughs> 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 Joe Walkowski, your winner, guys. Clap it up. One of the most fun battles ever watched. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so we much. We all know that. the night belongs to that ginger girl who beat up that ginger kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was a solid first battle, man. That was the the, uh, the first official kickoff of the weekly show. No. That's fucking absolutely great. Yeah, we're back weekly now. Weekly, right. bitches. Every week here. And that is thank you to fucking uh, always show your appreciation for Louis J. Gomez who brings this to you here at the stand. Louis! 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 J is gay! J is gay! J is gay! What were you going to say, Rich? And to get God, a, I love And chance. to get a soap opera star to be a judge, thank you. Yes. Uh, oh, that chiseled jaw. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Matthew Broussard just brought up the average looks of New York City by a full point by moving here. Oh, thank you. Uh, that gorgeous. works out so bad for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> guys, clap it up for your judges. Rich Voss, <laughs> Big J. Okerson, Matthew Broussard, your champion, Eli Sayers. How about a big, how about a big uh, welcome to New York for Matthew Broussard living Matthew here Broussard. now, man. It's fucking so cool. Check some man love to DJ out. Isis in the back. Guys, thank you so much for coming out to the Rust Masters. We'll check you next Tuesday, 10.30. Peace.